2012 Project 12 has four categories. I'd like to explain our first category, which is called 12, 12, 12. So, 2012, of course it ends in a 12. It's the only year in the century that ends in a 12 and has 12 months. So the idea is to use this conflagration of the number 12 and on the 12th of January, 12th of February, 12th of March, at 12 noon, you can take your photograph or base your art on that. If you want to be really precise, you can do it at 12 seconds after 12 minutes after 12 noon on the 12th, 2012. Then it would be 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. <laughs> so the original idea was to take a photograph or make a painting of the same scene. So if you've got your favourite mountain or forest or where you had your first kiss and this is your favourite place, you could take a photograph there on the 12th of January and then again the 12th of February, again 12th of March and each month throughout the year and then submit this photograph to the website. But since we started talking about this in our blog in the beginning of 2011, people were asking, well, I travel a lot and I won't be able to be in the same spot every month on the 12th, so can I take a photograph wherever I am in the world at that exact second, 12 seconds after 12 minutes, 12 noon on the 12th of each month? Sure, so maybe in January you're, you're in your hometown, February you're maybe on a business trip somewhere else, March you're maybe visiting your grandmother in another town. So that's a great idea, just it, they make it a, a record of where you were on those 12 moments in the year 2012. Some people have been asking, one lady in particular, she said, well I'm giving birth early or um, the doctors say I'm due to give birth early in January, so I would like to take a photograph of my baby every month, would that be okay? Sure, that's a brilliant idea. It's, that's be, it would be really lovely to see your child on the 12th of each month in the year 2012. When the child grows up, you know, you'll be able to show that. That would be re really, really nice. Some people just want to take their 12 favourite places in those 12 days, you know. So maybe in January you want to take your your most favourite picnic spot and in February your most favourite boating pond or something. It's up to you. Basically, the topic is just 12, 12, 12, so it should just be whatever, and it's not just photography, it can be art, it can be paintings, drawings, sculpture, poetry, song. One lady wants to sing the same song in 12 different languages, <laughs> a different language every month. You know. I wonder if it's Happy Birthday. <laughs> I don't know that many songs that are translated into so many different languages, but that's up to her. The most amazing thing about it is that each one of you will have your own idea of what you can do. This is this, this is the, the joy of life, is that we all have so many different ideas and we can share and express these together. Each month you upload your photograph or video or video link, uh, text document, to, to the website. You could spread the word to all your friends and relatives. Uh, we'll be advertising about it. The, whole, the general public can go online and they can go to your site and they can vote for you. At the end of the year, the person with the most votes in that category, 12, 12, 12, will win photographic equipment up to the value of 1,200 euros. Who gets the most votes over all four categories will win a fantastic trip to Iceland for one week for two people. All expenses paid. I will be your personal guide to take you around this beautiful country, show you the sights and you'll come with the photographic equipment that you've won and be able to take amazing photographs here. If you're an artist you can go home then and paint. You can even bring your paint and stuff here and paint some incredible landscapes, seascapes and Icelandic horses. It's just an amazingly beautiful country here. Not to be left out, Icelanders, if you win, or, or people like myself who are not native to Iceland but live here, anybody who lives in Iceland and if they happen to win the competition, you will win a trip to another destination. So we look forward to you taking part and seeing your things. 
If you have any questions, you can email us at 2012project12 at gmail.com or see us on the website 2012project12.com. 2012 Project 12 is a registered non-profit organisation. We do need money for running costs so the entry to the project is 12 euros and at the end of it the people who have entered the best entries we will make these into a photographic book and perhaps DVDs of the video entries and we we'll hope to hold a series of international exhibitions of the best works in Project 12. So hopefully we'll come to your town and have the exhibition and show off your work. Wouldn't that be great? So we look forward to seeing you take part in 2012 Project 12. Bye.